You know, last year we cut our prices. We were trying to help folks out. We stuck with simple corn liquor and sold a lot of it. Sure am spooky in here. This year, things are better. People are getting out and they've got their pockets full of money. Everybody's wanting to spend that money on a premium liquor and we're at a fever pitch to make them some. You hear anything? You feel anything? Nope. Pretty good ways over here. There, there you we go. go. We got to run this pump for a few minutes, clear out muddy sediment and uh, once we get clean water, make us a little mash, get ready to start making a little bit of Tennessee whiskey Mark and Digger style. That's still working. Yeah. Three more barrels filled up. That ought to be about right and rotate them coming off three or four at a time. That'll be good. I mean, I ain't greedy, but this year's a lot different than last year. People's got a little money now. Yeah, boy. You know, last year was a whole different animal for us. We were all about making cheap liquor to where people could afford it. This year, we're gonna make top shelf liquor that we can charge a premium price for. Now, it's ready to go, yeah, isn't it? It didn't get no mildew or nothing. We got enough grain here to make one run of mice, With think? that barrel of white corn in my truck, we're ready to rock and roll. Let's get the pump and stuff first, get the hose on. Howdy, fellas. What's going on down here? Oh, nothing. A little spring cleaning. I got a complaint. Looking around, I can tell that my complaint might be based on a little bit of truth. Hey, guys, how about you all step out here a minute? I need to talk to these fellas. Little men, boys, just look around. What's in the barrel? Uh, grain? Oh, yeah. Guys, what's this for? Well, I, we don't know it's in here when we got here. It must be some sort of water filter. Check your barrel. This is it. Yeah, those are empty barrels. Did y'all find any liquor back there? No, sir. Cool. Barrels are all empty. Look here, guys. Barrels, rye. We're real close here. I understand. Close. Close gets you attention. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Don't want to have to come back down here. But you know how it works. When All I get a call, well. we get a complaint about somebody downtown making whiskey, you know I'll do my job. That fair enough? That's fair enough. This day didn't start like I wanted it to. I know, but thank the Lord it ain't tomorrow. It'd been tomorrow, baby boy. We'd have had an allergic reaction. We'd have broke out in handcuffs. As far as making liquor goes right now, there will be no liquor made inside the corporate city limits of Newport. Now, are we gonna stop all together? Quitters, they have to go to meetings. We ain't quitters. We're gonna get the hell out of here, and we ain't gonna look back. You know, these guys talk to the county officers and the state officers on a daily basis, so yes, I'm they sure do. they've been updated on our situation. Oh, I'd almost bet on it. I'm sure that our local sheriff's department knows the same thing now that our police department knows. They know who we are, they know what we drive, they know where we live. So the best thing to do, we're going to get as far as we can out of out of Cock County, I believe. We got to go far, Puss. But I don't know where to go. Places have been developed, houses built. I wonder if JB knows any place. He made liquor a lot of places with popcorn. You know, right over and see. I mean, if he don't, we ain't lost nothing. JB, back in the day, he spent a lot of time in uh, Maggie Valley, North Carolina, back with popcorn. They made a lot of liquor in that area, and JB's very familiar with it. We'll learn here in just a minute what JB might or might not know. Hello there, JB Raider. Hey. How you doing, brother? I'm doing damn good. Good to see you, brother. Yeah, good to see you, baby. Raider's my name, liquor's my game. Yep. Well, you look like you're feeling awful good. Best I've felt in years. He's a rutting butt. <laughs> well, that's a good thing for what we need. Yep. Okay. We're, we're, we're kind of up a stump there, JB. Are you? We got paid a visit by the chief of police. Oh, yeah. He put us on the road. We need a new steel site. We know you spend a lot of time on the other side of the mountain over yonder. Oh, yeah. I know the other side of the mountain real good. We made a lot of runs up and down the mountain, but yeah. it's, it's been so long, and yeah. I'm hoping you still got it fresh in your knob. And it's not too fresh, but I think I can come up with it. You got anything to do? You, can you no. go with us and scout a few places? Oh, yeah. Let's go, do it. Let's go do a little scouting. All right, we'll do it. We might even buy you a hot dog while we're out. 
Yeah. You see anything that looks familiar, JB? Uh, not to do it. I mean, heck, it's been almost 20 years. Could have went up the mountain there. Yeah, that was one of them, but that's all right. Was that the one we should have took? Yeah, we could have, had, but we can get this other one. Uh, if you don't like it, we can come back. You know, JB says he knows where he's going. We've got no clue, so we're kind of at his mercy at this point. Left oh, yeah. or right here, Raider? Uh, right. Right. I think. <laughs> we'll find out here in a little bit. One thing I love is your certainty. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> JB's getting a little long in the tooth. We'll see if he knows exactly where we're supposed to go or not. Right, here's a, yeah, here's, yeah. a, here's a three way for us. Yeah. What do we do here? Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just going to take the gravel. Yeah, that's the best way. <laughs> well, I'll do it the scientific way. <laughs> The mole usually got it. <laughs> There's the last line on electric here. Yep. That, that pole right there deadens it. From here on out, there ain't no electricity. Yep. That's it. I like that idea. Oh, yeah. Damn, JB. Yeah. We get flat tar broke down back in here, we'll have to walk 47 miles to get out. Yeah. He's wanted away from the people. I'm going to get over here close to the edge and look off. Hell no. We up here now. No, oh, my ears done popped three times. This is it. A little rough getting up there, but once we get up there, I believe you'll like it. JB? Yeah. Where the hell are you going with this goat trail? Yeah, that good. You wanted a place to make liquor, didn't you? Mm -hmm. There's one thing about it. If we do end up here, there ain't nobody gonna bother us. Normally, we feel more safe at home, but right now we're under the microscope. And uh, under these circumstances, I'm gonna feel a little better up in the mountains in North Carolina. You know where we're going, or you can guess? I know where I'm going. Well, it gets a little better now. It's hard to tell at this point whether JB's covering for his lack of remembrance or does he have something up his sleeve? Well, I will be damned. Are you teasing me? I swear cold chills just run all over me, JB. <laughs> I'm taking to the shrine, boys. Oh, Would you my look God. This is where you and Popcorn Sutton made his last run. Well, ain't that something? I never thought we'd be up here thinking about making a run of liquor. JB Raider. Man, this is damn hallowed ground. I can still see some gun dancing right there. If there's a holy grail of moonshine, it's right here.